denied. But I'm back. Baby's down here. He's got some food. Mux has gone back upstairs to rest. But we've got a few things, errands to run tomorrow. And then he's got his interview. On, or he's got his orientation on Monday. So... Uh, where am I supposed to go? Ah, here we go. Can I really reason with you CN Joe people? I think I get it now. In your words, this is called looting a burning house, right? But I am trying to reason with you here. That toxic voice mm -hmm. sounds familiar. Haven't yeah. I heard it before in Arum Alley? You know what? This isn't my first time dealing with the Skyfaring Commission. I can handle your unreasonable ways. But straight up snatching IPC cargo, isn't that going a bit too far? Just as I've said it many times already. Once we've inspected the cargo and completed the security check, you can be on your way. Is there something wrong with your ears, or is it just your brain? I'm hearing you loud and clear. I'm thinking clear. And my answer is crystal clear. Not a chance. Keep detaining my cargo, and I'll file a complaint directly with your general. Did I just hear a dog barking? <laughs> Jerk! Who are you calling a dog? Wait! Why are you here? You're staying on the Sienjo, are you? What terrible luck! Wherever you go, disasters aren't far behind! Aren't you the guest from the Astral Express? What brings you and Yan Ching to the Artisanship Commission? Trouble caused by the IPC? I'd say it's caused by the Skyfaring Commission! Looks like Oops. you've met this IPC worker before. I dropped a carrot. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> I was sent here to deal with the IPC protest, Nishikwe. What's going on here? <sighs> As you know, this IPC transport ship yeah. was attacked by the Borison is that your and draft? by the Juming's diplomatic ship. Then, the Cloud Knights were instructed to bring it back to the dock for repairs and inspections. Mm -hmm. And this is Mr. Scott, the person in charge of this transport ship. So, you're Scott. I've heard her mention you. Weren't you kicked off the Lafu before? Why did you come back? Like I wanted to come back. I thought I'd just dock at the harbor for repairs and leave this forsaken place for good. Little did I know, as soon as the ship entered the harbor, a bunch of Cloud Knights showed up and snatched all our cargo. My hand is kind of hurting. What do you mean by snatched? I've told you a million times. It's a security check. Then why did you bring the cargo to the Artisanship Commission? You even brought in some shady craftsmen. It's obvious you're trying to steal the IPC's patented technology. Listen here. Firstly, the Skyfaring Commission detected dangerous items that could possibly be weapons in your cargo hold. That's why they called me here, to double check. Secondly, where the heck did you get the idea that I'm a shady craftsman? Even if there are dangerous items, what do they have to do with you? It's not even being shipped to the law, fool. We'll just fix the ship and be on our way. We won't unload our cargo here. But... You'll have to stay in the port for several days before your ship is repaired and you can take off again. How can we just leave unchecked items sitting here? I understand, but we don't need to disassemble the cargo if it's just a security check, right? In most cases, we don't. However, our scans discovered that the cargo doesn't only contain machinery, but also some substance that resembles biological tissue. Biological tissue? Does this crate contain living things? 
I'm afraid we'll need to wait for the Alchemy Commission for further confirmation. In any case, according to our regulations, we need to unseal one of the crates for further examination. But this IPC specialist has been hindering us on the grounds of patent secrecy. The Alliance's regulations on biological products yeah, that's are a carrot. very strict. For further inspection, there is no way for the Skybearing Commission to release the cargo. Oh, really? Fine! If anyone lays a finger on that shipment, they'll have me to deal with. It doesn't matter if it's <laughs> mechanical or biological. It's none yeah. of your business. I'm filing a complaint against the Skyfaring Commission's ridiculous regulations. <laughs> <sighs> this Mr. Scott seems stubborn and difficult to persuade. Honestly, I really don't want to have a vicious confrontation with the IPC. Hey. Yeah, you can try and put the carrot in there. I heard how you helped Aramali. The IPC representative back oh. then was Mr. Scott, right? Mm -hmm. Since you've dealt with him before, it looks like I'll have to rely on you again. What are you guys whispering about over there? Just hurry up and give us back our cargo. He's got such an annoying voice. The end of negotiation if your morale is higher than or equal to your opponents is considered a successful negotiation. If it drops to zero, it ends immediately. Choices will lead to different outcomes, which can either increase or decrease. Okay. There's negotiation strategies. You can view your opponent's information if you're unsure what to choose, press to view. Thank you! We'll leave it right there for you, okay? As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Let's use that against him. Okay. Has to abide by the rules, at least on the surface. Okay. Speaking of regulations, we have our own laws and regulations, too. According to Article 4 of the Cienjo Alliance IPC trade consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. You remember Scott, he was a butthole in Orem Alley. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Your logic is too confusing for anyone to follow. Maybe you should learn the art of communication from a monkey before you continue spouting nonsense? The Alliance can sign a non-disclosure agreement with you. That way, you won't have to worry about any infringements, right? Yes. We can sign a mutually acceptable non-disclosure agreement in accordance with the IPC's rules. Well, uh, that makes sense, but how can we trust you to honor the terms? <clears throat> Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lives. Your logic is too confusing. Can you give us an exact amount, Mr. Scott? If there's any damage after the inspection, the Express... Um, I mean, the Skyfaring Commission will compensate you. 
The Skyfaring Commission. Yeah, they will compensate you. Provided a detailed report of the damage is submitted. Why are you flinging your ham around like a flag? Yeah, that's fine. It's under your foot. You have to lift your foot. That's bread. Just sitting there, like, <laughs> waving his foot around. I don't doubt the financial strength of the Skyfaring Commission. However, this is not just about... But he hit zero. I should win. Okay. Well, you guys sure know how to argue your case. Fine. I'll allow you to do the security inspection. It's just that, uh, I need some time to sort things out. This is a big deal. Let me talk to headquarters first. Right here. So, Mr. Scott, are you just stalling for time and planning to leave the CN Joe as soon as your ship is repaired? To avoid the Skyfaring Commission's inspection? Well, I think these staff are free to come and go. As long as they don't break any laws. Yeah, you've got some insight there. Who are you again? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lingsha, Cauldron Master and Head of the Alchemy Commission on the Law Food. Could she be? Yeah, she's the new Cauldron Master assigned here from the Sienjo Juming. I received a report from the Artisanship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organisms. It said they needed help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came My myself. finger still hurts, too. Possibly it's a little fine, bit my whole Mr. hand, Scott. but... If you really don't want your cargo to it's be It's not infected, getting worse. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter? How can you say that? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Hmm? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! She clearly is, like, playing at something. Well, that's more like it! If only the young displayed a more... reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped that altercation just now. Our ship will leave in a few days once the engines are repaired. Your ship can leave whenever you want, but I'm afraid I can't say the same for your cargo. According to the Import and Export Regulation signed between the Sienjo and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threat, or when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Let me check the previous cases. <laughs> Normally, it'll only take around 47 star calendar years. <laughs> <laughs> only 47 years? Why so surprised? You're still young and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades i gotta get him some Have cheerios some soon but we can wait for next break ha typical of a long life species your words are dripping with oh. sarcasm while you may not care about time i do yeah. i'll be demanding double compensation from the skyfaring commission for every minute wasted sure thing mr scott you seem pretty confident that your career and life will last long enough to witness this victory unfold. Step aside, guys. Let them do the inspection. <laughs> uh, but, Mr. Scott! Come on, we're already in enough trouble. Just let them do the security inspection. And if needed, I can always grovel before the Intelligentsia Guild later. 
I'm just using my head for what it's apparently good for, right? Well, honestly, at least you're not as annoying as that woman. Just get on with the inspection. Don't act all chummy with me now that you've got your way. This lady is really something else. Is this the IPC product? Uh, uh, listen up. Any damages caused by inspections will be filed with the IPC. <laughs> she completely outsmarted them, yeah. Oh, hey, it looks kind of like a puppy. And then we was attacked by puppies. There's no way that's a coincidence. I mean, I guess it could be, but... When an ally is inflicted with terror grip, attacking the caster of terror grip can... Once can dispel it. When terror grip ends, if the caster of terror grip is not attacked to dispel terror grip, then the infected ally will fall into a terrified state and be unable to perform actions. Okay. Yo, how unexpected. That was a surprise. Harmony and unity. And freely. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Tonight. Soul Stars Echo. Oh, and I'm sure if you heard to chill, I did um, March's quest for her pass before starting today. I'm so glad I got Firefly. She's probably my favorite character so far. Like, for, by personality, skills, everything. Sure, I'll play along. This is more than a bad fight. Freely. My turn. The dice have been kept. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All in. <laughs> Initiate cleanup. <laughs> I like how it's like, here's this mechanic that's gonna make your life living hell. And then like, we're halfway through his health and we haven't even seen it once yet. Use that ability once. May song bring us victory. This is 
Is it because I keep breaking him when he's in the moon range? Oh god. Hang on. I will claim victory for myself. You don't need another apple yet. You don't need another apple. Do you want one? Do you want an apple? Firefly, type four, awaiting Hang on. Get your pull, cut. Sorry, guys, just give me a second. There you go, there's some apple, okay? He somehow got the bag of apples down. I'm gonna need to find a new place to keep that stuff. So. Keep that. He somehow got the bag of apples down. Which is okay. It's okay to like fruit. It's healthy. So I had to give him some apple. <laughs> Cause he was already trying to start meltdown mode. Can tell Moss. <laughs> Off the ground and tap your feet. Look, stars are new when you feel the beat. We're bound for a greater height. Oh, 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 oh. Take a leap. Opportunity doesn't knock on its own, you know. Okay. No, you have Apple right there. I'm gonna have to move them. Give me a second, guys. He's trying to get them again. You just want that apple, don't you? Gonna go up here, okay? You want? Do you want some Cheerios? You can get your Cheerios too. But I'm not. Get Cheerios, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna fill it. Hang on. Can you give mommy the cup? Give mommy the cup. Thank you. Yeah, can you give me the lid? Thank you. There you go. There. You got sandwich. You've got Cheerios. You've got milk. You've got apple. You got everything you could want, okay? It's just, he's too smart. He's too smart. Which, we're not complaining. We don't complain about. Okay. Let's go. Spend freely. Yeah, he didn't even use the ability that it gave me the tutorial for, guys. Did I just kick his oh, ass that hard? Seriously planning to leave this stuff unchecked at the dock for days? That's way too dangerous. I, I had no idea about it. You must have accidentally triggered the cargo's defense program. Uh huh. I don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. But seriously, I don't know why that thing suddenly started moving. I swear on the Amber Lord. Enough. Miss Shikwe, please escort our IPC guest to the Skyfaring Commission. I'm on it. Please follow me, Mr. Scott. Yes, comment. Gentlemen, our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside. Just like the craftsman feared. 
can't even tell if it's ingenium or biological in nature. To start playing this again and Genshin again a bit in the mornings or evenings or something. The core of this device is what they call wetware in industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerve as its control center. I comment. I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissue comes from. Why would the Intelligentsia Guild use such unethical technology? Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon? Whatever the reason is, it's probably why the Borison attacked the ship. Hi. No wonder the IPC were trying to obstruct our inspection. I'll contact the Ten Lords Commission and ask the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the Shackling Prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Lafu. Yeah. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knight to apple? explain the situation to the judge. Yummy apple. Yeah, that's comment. I had a feeling yeah. that the IPC members would cause trouble, but <laughs> I didn't think they'd be this tricky. Thanks for your help, Miss Linksha. I should thank you for saving my life. Your sword skills were impressive. Taking down that big guy. I thought the General's retainers were all burly martial masters. I didn't expect Yinqing to be so... argue with that as for you you must be the guests from the astro why are you trying to shove your apple in your cheerios from that crisis it's so impressive he's breaking his apple into <laughs> pieces and shoving it in the cheerio cup really it's still early so why don't we get some tea at the alchemy commission we can discuss your suggestions for revitalizing the commission uh, i'd be happy to accept your invitation and you three are coming too, right? <laughs> yeah, good job. I think I have this whole area explored, but all these years, and the view of the Alchemy Commission hasn't changed a bit. The tides come and go, but the ancient sea remains the same. For us, Vidyadara, there's nothing more nostalgic than our homeland. You're a Lofu native, Miss Lingsha? Yes, I grew up here. Listening to the sound of waves while researching prescriptions with my mentors and peers at the Alchemy Commission. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Everything changes, but somehow remains familiar. Just like you, Don Hung, I traveled far from home, and now I've returned. Seeing the familiar scenery brings back a hint of nostalgia. <sighs> the view here would be yeah. even better without the Ambrosial Arbor. Oh, really? I think that towering tree looks pretty impressive. Even if it's impressive, it's a plague mark. The Sienjo have been fighting abominations for thousands yeah, of years. And now that the Ambrosial Arbor has been reborn, it's only natural for everyone to feel uneasy. Well, once a seed is planted, no matter how long it takes, It'll eventually sprout and bear fruit. You okay? Maybe swallow before you eat more. And the resurgence of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were inevitable. The <laughs> seed was already planted when the ancestors of the Sienjo sought immortality. <laughs> My bad. 
Well, since you went through the entire Ambrosial Armor mm -hmm. crisis firsthand, Dan Hung and Lieutenant Yan Ching, I'd like to discuss something with you. What would you like to discuss, Miss Lingxia? I was lucky enough to be chosen by the Alliance to come in and clean up all the old grime in the Alchemy Commission. Honestly, the Alchemy Commission is riddled with problems and has reached a point where fixing it seems impossible. I'm looking to remedy this problem, but was wondering if you could provide any insights. Well, even though I'm a Vidyadarin like you, I'm an outsider, just like my companions here. I can't yeah, you got say Apple. much about a remedy. Thank you. But I do have a piece of advice, Miss Lingxiao. The Vidyadara and the Alchemy Commission on the Lofu have always been intricately connected. If you okay. cannot distance yourself from these ties, Miss Lingxiao, changing the situation within the Alchemy Commission may be quite challenging. I may not know about politics, but I do know that the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been operating within the Alchemy Commission for years. If you're determined to root them out, then maybe you should discuss it with the General. I see. Thank you for your valuable insights. Yeah! <sighs> While the Lux Arrow from the Rainbow possesses unparalleled power to sever the Ambrosial Arbor, it can't sever mortals' desire to prolong their existence. Just like how the Cloud Knights can eliminate the remnants of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, but are unable to calm the hearts and minds of the people within the Alchemy Commission. Our Sienjo forebears knew this well, and that's why they entrusted the duty of guarding the roots of the Arbor to the Vidyadara. You need help? However, the Vidyadara are still only mortal beings. Thirty years ago, so My mentor he puts the ball in the cup master. so that it doesn't come out, she and then he gets, the emerging he can't get it out. To cleanse the source of go. Disturbance. Unfortunately, even though she was skilled in the art of healing, she didn't understand the human heart or how to eliminate the sickness lurking within the depths of the Alchemy Commission. In the end, she was framed and exiled to the Juming. I was also implicated and had to leave the Lafu. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did it again? Case and handed down the sentence. None other than General Jing Yuan himself. Wh what? You heard it right. The ones responsible for the corruption in the Alchemy Commission are not just the remnants of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, but even the Divine Foresight himself. <laughs> Alas, why is your face turning pale, Yan Jing? Don't worry about it. I understand that when someone holds a position of power, they may sometimes have to make tough decisions. I won't hold any personal grudges against him. Besides, at our age, holding personal grudges is a luxury we can't afford. Lingxia, you're back! Ugh, I've been waiting ages for you! Like a really weird distortion at the top of her Yunli, model what there. You with your grandpa? What brings you to the Alchemy Commission? Well, let me take this opportunity to introduce you to Yan Ching. <sighs> what a small world. You! You stole my sword! Give it back! <laughs> I see. Let's skip the introduction part then. <laughs> Why do I keep bumping into you? Are you stalking me or something? Of course not. Unlike you, Miss Yun Li, I have important things to take care of. You, on the other hand, seem to have all the time in the world to wander around without returning my sword. Grandpa used to say that a sword reflects its master. I talked to your sword, and it told me that you've been distracted. You hesitate when you should strike, and you struggle to stay calm when your sword is unsheathed. <laughs> now that I see you again, 
I realize your sword was right. It wasn't me who took your sword. It was you who lost focus. Do you really expect me to believe that nonsense? I've been taking it easy on you because you're a guest from the Juming. But you're not taking the hint. Don't people from the Juming know you're supposed to return what you've borrowed? <laughs> Just look at this flying sword. Even if I gave it back to you now, it'd just be taken away again in a few hours. You know the Cloud Knight saying, a Cloud Knight must never let slip their weapon. Yes? Well, sure, I can give it back to you now, but on the battlefield, that's a whole different story. <laughs> Poor flying sword. Fine! You don't have to give it back, because I'll take it back myself! Maybe I should call the general. But which general should I call? Between these two, who do you think is tougher? Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm just curious. It is my first day at the Alchemy Commission. A brawl is definitely not how I imagine celebrating it. <laughs> well, since you don't approve, I won't draw my sword here. I didn't mean it in that way. <laughs> Since you've already drawn your swords, you'd be disappointed if you didn't get to test one another, right? I've received reports that the Delves near the Alchemy Commission are still infested with abominations. Seems like my predecessors left quite a mess. So, if you two want to determine who's better, why not focus on them instead of each other? Hmm. Clearing out some abominations? Eh. Sounds boring. It's the Cloud Knight's duty to eliminate those abominations. You don't have to ask me twice, Miss Lingshan. I'll help you get rid of them. Oh, you think you're the only one who knows how to behave? If Lingshan needs anything, I'll gladly draw my sword and help her out. It's so heartwarming to see both of you being so sweet and caring. So yeah. then, shall we get going? Mm-hmm. Ever since the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were eradicated, their experimental abominations have been festering here. If you want a contest... My finger still kind of colors. The one who kills the most abominations within an hour wins. <sighs> Ling Sha, as always. You're still an expert in making unpaid work sound so noble and grand. It's for your own good, little Yunli. While you desire to compete against each other, I don't want to see either of you getting hurt. That's really thoughtful of you, Cauldron Master. So, are you both ready? I don't want to watch you get hurt. By fighting each other. So let's watch you get hurt by fighting monsters. Makes perfect sense. Ugh. Looks like my predecessors left quite a mess. Let me say it again. The one who kills the most abominations within an hour wins. Be careful when you draw your swords and make sure you don't hurt each other. <laughs> Can we start now, Lingsha? When Yunli takes action, she will use attacks to defeat the enemy first. The number of enemies defeated by Yanqing and Yunli is reported here. Okay. Opportunity doesn't knock. Um, what does do do? Minor ice to single. This is crit. It reduces chance of being attacked and increases crit and damage. After attacking, a chance of a follow up attack, you can ice damage with a chance to freeze a target. Okay. Freely. 
Oh no. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I was worried. Hedge your bets. Okay, I'm gonna restart this. Because we need to like focus. Maybe I'll take it off. Try that again. A one-time enemy. Blade and fight. Joining the battle. Detonate. Like fire until so everything burns to ashes. Set to the sea, not free. I hit the mark. Still not high enough, though. Her sword with ease. Shouldn't underestimate her. Okay, let's try... Change lineup. Yes. Because mm. let's swap out March temporarily for... Because this way I can reset. Hopefully. But that'll also have a damage boost too. Or maybe I'll take you. Yeah, fun. Damn fun. Huh? Yeah, that's your giraffe. Do you want to pet your giraffe? Go pet your giraffe. Yeah, good job. Good job. On its own, you know. <laughs> we won't even do the thing yet. Strike. Which is not what I meant to do. Position. Like fire. 
Sure, I'll play along. Huh. How many can you block? Huh. This is more than a battle. There we go. We'll get at least one down. You've got style with those moves, but you're not striking where it counts. It's such a shame to see you. Okay, so let's like maybe ignore the boss. she get another turn before the dice have been cast like that she would get to use her Bust. ult or maybe I'll take it off watch your head how many can you block blade and flight down to earth head your bets uh huh And now I get a second turn. I'll probably use it just before you in these turn. He thinks it's like the most hilarious thing ever when he sneezes. Time for sword play. Are you playing a song for us? Blade 
danger bats. Huh? I love your Join song. Yeah. That's such a nice song. Sure, I'll play along. This is more than a battle. Set to the sea, the There we Listen go. To the final song of life. Resting it all together. Oh, I was hoping that would get me far enough. Strike with heart. Down to earth. To get another. Round of turns in. See? I won. Your technique was all over the place, and you relied too much on speed. Is this really all the Cloud Knights of the Lawfu can muster? I'm guessing you're intended to lose, given so she one shots everything. All you did was chop down a few monsters. Don't get carried away with yourself. Oh. Well, then I'll give you a chance. Defeat me, or hand over all your swords. If you're trying to pick a fight, just ask. Because I'm ready for you. He's me. Yeah. The fun. Well fought, my young friend. However, both of you have shortcomings. One of you focuses on dodging and weaving, while the other relies on brute strength, trying to take down targets with a single strike. Who are you? Me. I am just a patient seeking medicine from the Alchemy Commission. A passerby, if you will. I thought I'd see my fill of impressive fights during the war dance. Yet here I am, able to witness a remarkable fight at the Alchemy Commission, of all places. Well, the Lawfu is never short of surprises. However, I have a small suggestion for you. Why don't you settle this dispute fair and square in the War Dance's ring? That way, you can resolve your differences with a proper duel and put your grudges behind you. Grudges? Uh, no, not at all. Yunli and I, we were just sparring. <laughs> sparring? You summoned your flying swords and she swung her sword with full strength. No grudges between you. Mm, I don't believe it. Aha! What brings you here, Lady Feishao? Have you finished your health consultation with the Dragon Lady? Shao? Grandpa always talks about you. Could it be that you are... The Merlin's Claw of the Xianzhou Yao Ching? Hmm. Looks like I'm quite famous on the Xianzhou Lawfu, too. Of course. Everyone has heard of the Great General. Known to all, and unbeknown to none. Great General? Isn't that title a bit too narcissistic? 
Mm, I don't like it. Ooh, I heard there's a dozing general on the Lafu. So I came up with a humble nickname for myself. The Lacking General. Lacking in worries, regrets, and rivals. Sounds much better, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a befitting title that sounds both humble and impressive. Now that the sparring session is over, Yanqing and Yunli, shouldn't you politely thank General Fei Xiao for her guidance and bury the hatchet? Uh, here's your sword. Keep it safe. Or it might get taken away again. <laughs> By the way, we haven't settled the score yet. I'll defeat you fair and square next time we fight. This is how she apologizes? To... <sighs> now that I finally got my sword back, I should report to the Seat of Divine Foresight. What? I'll take my leave, General Fischau. Hi. Oh, What's wrong? by the Come way, here. Miss Lingxia, if you've got some free time, I'd like to invite you to the Seat of Divine Foresight for a chat with General Jing Yuan. I think there's more to those personal grudges you mentioned earlier. Thanks for stepping in, General. Do you want Fischau. bubbles? Otherwise, I'd have had to knock them out with yes. my incense. Not at all. Just doing what you asked. How about we call it even as payment for the healer lady's consultation? Sorry, but even a general needs to pay their bills. We don't do credit here. And let's not forget, you'd have been waiting decades for a chance to see the dragon lady if it weren't for me. Well, you can always send the bill to the Seat of Divine Foresight and say it's for mentoring those kids. After all, it was quite the effort splitting them up. I nearly had to get tough. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, yeah, bubbles. Find a spot and get some fresh air. Yeah. Back already? You've met with Jing Yuan and wandered around for a few hours. So, what do you think? It appears that the Divine Foresight is using this war dance as a show of strength to convince everyone that the Law Fu is prospering after the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. But... I know you're going to say but, right? But yeah. the influx of More people attending the war dance is like a breeding ground for disorder and rumors. One wrong move and the Lawfu could be in a world of chaos. The Cloud Knights on the streets remain vigilant, so at the very least, General Jing Yuan is aware of this. Mux got me a bubble gun for the baby. I'm unable to say. I'd prefer to be excused from future meetings with you generals. Want? I'm just no, a you military want bubbles. healer. And now all of a sudden, I'm thrust onto the center stage having cordial <laughs> chats with two generals? My work doesn't lend itself to being in the limelight, either. Just stop whining. At least you're in one piece, right? Before getting in touch with General Jing Yuan, I wanted to put aside my assumptions and see his... You want medicine. some cheese? That includes the overall bearing of the Cloud Knights on the street, what people are saying, and how those close to him behave. The might of an army dwells not within its pawns, but within the force of its collective momentum. Recognizing this fact reveals the true measure of power. <laughs> yeah, for me, General. A perfectly clear statement turned confusing thanks to your translation. <sighs> You've made me lose where I was now. Anyway, this is how I operate in battle. So you might as well get used to it. Are you treating General Jingyuan as your enemy? The longest serving general of the Xianzhou Lafu. Do you think he'd have only a few enemies? By the way, Jin, Yeah, it's your cheese. You met the healer lady, yes? 
Could you show Thank me you. the medicine she prescribed you? Well, the healer lady couldn't do anything about my condition. She just told me to enjoy some tasty food. Yeah. So not even the famed healer lady could help? Don't no. worry. I'll fulfill my promise and find a way to cure you. Actually, I've found some leads. Well, life and death, Jiao Cho. It's all predetermined. While starting my military career, I made a pledge that the rest of my life would be dedicated to being the Sien Zhou's spearhead, hunting down the abominations of abundance till the end of my days. As long as I can fulfill that deep-seated desire, I don't care how long I live. <laughs> you asked if I view General Jin Yuan as my enemy. No. My real enemy has always been myself. <laughs> yeah, Cheerios! Enjoy some tasty food. So... Yeah. What's for dinner tonight? Jeez. You really know how to read the room, don't you? You guys figure it out for yourselves. I'm due to catch up with an old war friend I've not seen for quite a long time. General who just dropped in out of nowhere? Oh, oh she's so awesome. <laughs> you like that? I mean, when Yun Li swung that massive sword, <laughs> she just casually blocked her attack with ease. <sighs> Mine too. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. But to go up against Yun Li is quite impressive, you know? That aura of heroism and grace. It almost makes me want to learn Sienjo swordplay. You think so too, right? I agree. General Fei Xiao is indeed impressive. I was actually hoping you'd give Yen Ching some praise. Thanks for the kind words, Miss March. The war dance is coming up. And I've been chosen to represent the Cloud Knights in the ceremony. I've had my fair share of defeats lately, and even though I know there are always more skilled sword masters out there, seeing General Fei Xiao's skills today has made me feel a bit uneasy again. Don't underestimate yourself. Yeah. After all, generals won't fight in the ring during the war dance. Just remember the state of mind you had when you single-handedly took on me and Blade, putting life and death aside. With that mindset, you can prevail against most challengers. I see. Thanks for the advice, Master Don Hung. By the way, now that today's events are over, General Jing Yuan wants to invite all of you to the Seat of Divine Foresight. He has something important to discuss. I bet it's about how to deal with the generals from the Yao Qing and the Ju Ming. I really don't want to get caught up in grown-up games so soon. I just hope Generals Fei Xiao and Hui An can see the truth. We don't need any more chaos on the La Fu before the war dance. I think what I'm going to do Monday and Tuesday is, I think... On one, I'm going to do Enchanted Arms, and on the other, we might do more Enshrouded. And then we'll still do Kitty's Choice on Fridays and Fierce Choice on Saturday. Need your extractor clean to your star skips. I don't believe in ghosts. I'm fine. Baiting going and getting a chocolate milk, but I can't decide yet. Good quality, good price. 
What is your purpose for entering the seat of divine foresight? Before I go up, I'm actually probably going to go make some. So hold tight, guys. I will be right back. <laughs> 